Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here, back in with the hottest design show on YouTube, Design Royale. Where we end up having eight different contestants going head to head in the first round, then narrowed down to four, then narrowed down to two, and then those two 1v1 and one will be crowned Design Royale champion. Starting off our roster is Caleb, the 19 year old motion designer for Mayville GG, VO who is a motion graphics UI UX designer who works with people like Pixel Lab and Tracker IO, Lan Kai who is a 3D motion artist, NTH who is a designer for Giga hub official ambi who's a motion designer for vbi as well as a self-proclaimed non-award-winning artist so maybe you'll figure that out <laughs> sora who is a graphic and motion designer roth who is a motion designer for atlantic dk and future legends eu and last up is m seti who is a self-proclaimed multi-discipline creative dev and music producer pretty cool as always each contestant has two different perks to choose from critique and sabotage with choosing critique they get to have a one minute critique live session during round one and the next perk is sabotage Make any designer of your choice stop designing for two and a half minutes. However, it cannot be used after the five minute left mark. So with our roster now revealed, the only thing left to say is if you guys did not know, we do have an official sponsor for Design Royale, which is Envato Elements. We will definitely talk more about them during the video. However, Envato Elements, if you guys didn't know, is the ultimate creative subscription. It's literally unlimited downloads of 10 plus million creative assets for just $16.50 a month. The super dope part is that Envato Elements does offer a seven day free trial. So with the link down below, you guys check it out. Out, I literally try it out for completely free and it's it's mind-boggling so like please just do yourself a favor and of course because all of this we now have some really dope prizes so today our contestants are competing for an aces pro art display widescreen monitor 34 inches IPS display 21 by 9 aspect ratio color accuracy so it's pretty freaking amazing so this is the first brief for today professor oak needs your help the lab is seeking out trainers that can create an animated stream package for its prize Pokemon Charizard Bulbasaur Squirtle and Pikachu. Please select a single Pokemon whose stream you wish to level up and create at least one of the liberals in the following list. These guys will have an hour and a half to design, so let's see what they got. All right, three, two, one, start designing. Okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've never done something like this before. I forgot what the f brief was. Um... I think this is gonna be so brilliant. We are finally back, Jordan Designer Real. And uh, what are you thinking of today's brief? Hey, the stakes are higher. So I'm hoping yep. we see some really, really cool stuff. I personally like the brief. If I wasn't a judge, I'd probably be hopping in this on myself to try to get that monitor, but you know. Oh, let's we go. Move. Yeah, shout out Envalo Elements. <laughs> you guys are brilliant. Thank you so much for giving us an actual budget to work with. I do wanna ask though, in the comments below, which Pokemon would you end up choosing personally? It's Pikachu for me. Again, what is yours, Nowak? I probably Charmander, maybe Pikachu though. You know, I don't actually watch Pokemon. Okay. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. So like I, I saw this pop up and that's, that's actually just perfect for me. I think I'm gonna make an e intro sequence. I'm gonna go for Pikachu. I, I really love the idea of a squirrel stream package, like starting soon screen with like waves coming on. I think I'm gonna go for Pikachu. You can do a lot of stuff with uh, the electricity. I don't think I'm gonna go with Pikachu because I feel like everyone is. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna be doing everything in Blender, which I think is going to be a bit of a like an advantage over the, some of the other guys. I have some basic ideas, but nothing actually creative. Thinking like an old game or something. I'm going to say I like Bulbasaur because I have an idea. Maybe I could do plants or something. I don't know. Oh, that actually looks kind of sick. Is this the pin tool? Put some pins on the ears. Then you can actually move this, and now you just make like an idle animation with this. Maybe eyes. Okay, this this, <laughs> this thing is going to be janky a little bit. Pikachu's face moves up. It'll wink and then transition into the electrical energies. The energy will come off the screen. Spin, pulse, maybe. I'm wondering how this will look in 3D if I actually go on the route for making this. It's a 3D. I guess we'll have to deal with that later. I'm adding this glow so it looks like it's like really exploding, sort of. Maybe I can make a leaf, a leaf logo, or like this bulb. What does fire look like? That's such a question. I'm worrying about. Oh, why did I go to? The, why did I do this 3D stuff? <laughs> I think I need to get a few more things in this composition figured out. The right now is very flat. Actually, it's the power still. Don't know how to use the pen tool. Oh my god, it actually works! Wow, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it worked. One hour remaining. So I still have like an hour left. So I, I don't think I should be freaking out too much. That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that, and that's that's my background. We're kind of 
After Effects. Okay, there you go. It, it froze for a minute. That was scary. I get a transition into white. Pikachu pops up. It's a little bit quick. It is a little bit quick. It's not actually not even that bad. But we can go for some depth. Depth is what is needed. It comes in like that, but I, I just don't feel like there's like an impact enough. Thing is, I got a lot of free, like empty real estate right now. Oh, Sora asked for critique. You ready? Let's do this. One thing I immediately want to say is you got to figure out a typeface that I feel like really speaks to the character. I would focus too on, on what Sasa said with the bubbles. I think just having them in the left corner maybe feels a bit isolated. I don't know what to do for the background. Yeah, let's worry about it later, actually. It's not a good idea to postpone, but... I haven't made one single keyframe yet. This is my streamer. Now I can do magic. That is way too generic, but okay. I'm thinking of doing like a split screen thing, kind of. Right, okay, let's get to animating right now. I don't know how long I have left. I think I, think I have like 35 minutes left. Not very good. Because how can we incorporate? Because right now it's like I had the leaves, right? But how can we incorporate more of this? More of Bulbazar scared and stuff like that. Like, oh no, don't crash. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Control safe. Whew, we good, we good, we good. We got another critique from Roth. Let's do this. One of my things, I don't know if George would agree with this, but it feels as if the electricity feel more like Fortnite-y kind of spikes over the actual electricity. I think the electricity could work in that way, but it needs to be more prominent. Kinch also asked for a critique. Let's see what's going on over there. I think maybe even like the expression between that first frame and the second frame, I feel like there's not enough foliage going on in this second framing here. It is important that you include either an icon of Bulbasaur or the name. The colors are maybe a little bit too like gloomy. It's not the best, but you'll have to do I'm gonna try this background pattern, see if it works. I don't think I have time to change it after. And with that, 30 minutes are left in this challenge. I was watching these videos like, how the f do people stress? Like, it's not that hard, but dude, actually, this shit's getting to me right now. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this. Why did I do this? We just got a critique from VO. Let's see what we got going on over here. I mean, I think the motion is fine. It might be nice to have more electricity just after the initial animation, just so it doesn't feel like everything happens at the beginning and then after that, it's static. Oh, wait, you know what? That actually doesn't look that bad. Look at that. Wow. No, I'm enjoying this food more than the contest, even. I have to be designing right now. I really don't like this background. But what else could I do? My biggest gripe with this is that this this does not feel like it's part of it at all. 18 minutes, I'm not that bad. <laughs> is that that incredible to me? Yeah, I got time. Trust the process, my problem free philosophy. Oh, I'm not confident anymore. Oh no, what happened? That actually looks okay. That's gonna be how I do this. So coming now to the last minute, I wanna give you guys a little quick plug of what Envato Elements can offer. So not only do these guys have amazing video templates for like After Effects and Premiere Pro for our motion designers, or even like having music or sound effects, they also have some really amazing graphic packages, which I like the most. And honestly, one of my favorite things to actually use from them is the 3D library assets. Let's just say you want a cheeseburger, for instance, you scroll down to 3D, you click on one, then you can choose to put view in 3D render, rotate it, and then export it in whatever other like kind of dimensions or angles you want. And it's literally phenomenal. Anyway, check out the free trial, link down below in the description and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh man, this is gonna be so sick if I can get this working, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to have time. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna finish. I don't think I'm gonna finish. Really wish I just did a sky or something right now, but I don't think that would have helped me actually. Two minutes left. All the final stuff just needs to be done. This is it's actually really freaking close. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's so sick. That's so sick. I feel, I feel I genuinely feel like this will be good enough. I think everything is fine. I've come to the best of my abilities. No, I, I don't think I've ever been this stressed in my life. I'm, I'm literally shaking right now, bro. I don't think there's anything else I can do. 10 seconds. Oh my god. We're good, we're good. I, I can't believe this. I can't, I, 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 that's gonna be it. Oh my god. Time is up. Oh my god, okay. Right now we're moving into elevator pitches. So everyone's gonna give a brief statement on why we should choose their work. And we're gonna start with Kinch. I chose Bulbasaur because he's kind of like a nature guy. So I tried to incorporate like a lot of leaves and foliage, create a lot of depth with like different levels of leaves and there's like blurred stuff. Vio, you're up next. Obviously Pikachu is the best out of these four. I added some lightning effects. I want to add more lightning effects everywhere to the text. Uh, I went for like a simplistic style with flat colors. I got some details in the background going on. I feel like I'm pretty, uh, pretty safe here. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Ambi, what about you? I tried going for like an old school video game style. I made the Bulbasaur text like at the like at the classic Pokemon logo. I did have a bit of hard time with the background, and I tried making it kind of look like Bul Bul Bulbasaur's skin. Lankai, you're up next. I did a Charmander because I usually didn't know anything else to do but fire because I don't know how to do the rest. Fire is like when it's happy, so I made it like very fiery, so that looks cool. M Seti. I seen that Bulbasaur is like a plant type. So I was like, okay, well, maybe there could be leaves in the background. And, you, and you, like you're in a room full of plants and stuff. Yeah, the Bob was our logo in the center. Kind of like that's my way of incorporating it. NTH, what about you? I had a Pikachu logo that I created for a client that he didn't use. So I ended up using that. The timing of the Pika and then in the next scene, the Chu is uh, from the anime where like Pikachu does his big move in like one of the final episodes and he goes Pikachu. Roth, you're up next. I tried to go for a more clean style. I tried to keep it uh, playful, but still keep a professional and clean vibe. Sora, last one up, what's up? My design was focused on depth while having some balance between modernness, wackiness, and roundness. And I've shown that with the text choice and shapes I created. Background, I used like a wavy turbulent displace effect to simulate an underwater cartoon effect. With that being said, half you guys are gonna be eliminated, unfortunately. But that's just the case of the show. Uh, so what's gonna happen is myself and George are gonna go critique these. We're gonna come back and give you guys our answer and uh i'm just gonna have you guys sit tight relax and well you can't relax but you guys get the point let's start off with roth actually what do you think about his concept obviously he, he went for a simpler approach but i think the logo he created kind of reflects the style so it feels intentional i love the fact that these sort of like rotation electricity kind of comes through i do love the actual overall head being this sort of centerpiece and appealing point of it very very solid speaking of solid let's look at vo's concept what do you think over here this is probably the strongest layout but i think the animation itself was was very thoughtful it, it, overall it looks very very refined for the time given absolutely it, it feels like it would be official i think the call too to kind of fill up some space in that white background plus add that texture plus break up the text a little bit all kind of made it sing a little bit heavier for me and i love that really like impactful blast of negativity when it comes like to that black screen or like flips and flickers of that black screen say probably one of the stronger ones of the compositions for sure what's up with ambi here really solid animation i think if vo's had the best composition ambi's probably has the best overall animation i think it's very refined i especially love the detail with doing the pattern on bulbasaur skin as a texture i think that is a very good catch because i it's one of those things where i feel like one of our uh, upcoming critiques here from kinch uh, where he kind of used nature being this more leaf kind of scenario and he kind of settled with the idea of using the pattern So it's really cool. But speaking of Kinch uh, What do you think about his concept using more or less the nature aspect of it and not so much the pattern shape of it? For the most part the animation works pretty well I, I like that he incorporated Bulbasaur because I think doing something like that was necessary I know it was optional the leaves maybe don't feel as like Pokemon-esque or even like the usual shapes that you would c consider for this Bulbasaur. Regardless, NTH's concept, one of the only people who would really use 3D in this sense um, in a 3D program, what are you thinking over here? I think it's probably one of the more creative ones with the, the really unique perspective on the Pikachu's face. Yes. I think the idea with the lightning bolt is, is also very cool. Overall, I really liked his pitch. So what are you thinking about Sora's concept? I think Sora's idea was cool with the bubbles. I like that he spread out the bubbles so they weren't just in one yeah. corner. I think there maybe could have been more focus. Obviously, they, it looks like they're moving like a little bit too fast. Yeah. And I would have liked to see some distortion behind the bubbles. I think that would have maybe added more to the project. M. Seti, what do you think about his project? His is really interesting because I think it's the most corporate looking out of the bunch. The animation's really solid. And I think the incorporation of Bulbasaur's like bulb being used as an asset is what really ties it yeah. together. What are we thinking about Lankai? What is Charmander yeah. intermission screen? I, I'm almost thinking that the intermission screen didn't do him as much justice because I'm looking at the animation in the background and it seems really solid, but it's covered yeah. up by basically yep. a giant image. So it's, it's hard to tell. That there, I feel like the potential is really not being used as much as if it was like for a, uh, an intro sequence where we could really see the fire like moving around and, and telling absolutely, the story. Absolutely, absolutely agree. It, uh, it sucks, but that's the scenario we're in. Who do you think has the strongest and best concept? I think we both agree on that, but who are you thinking? I would probably pick 
All right, so I, obviously this was difficult and it, what made it even more difficult, you guys did such good concepts and great concepts, even with different characters. I'm surprised we had so much variety as well. I'm very excited about that. With that, we have VO, Ambi, NTH, and Roth moving on to round two, where we'll give you guys the brief and uh, hopefully you guys can continue doing some really great stuff. So for the next brief, it's time to evolve their stream packages. Using your previous work as a foundation, provide at least two deliverables from the following list. One intro alert animation, animated webcam overlay, stream panel, be right back screen, animated emotes, or a stream transition. These guys will now have one hour to design their basic, like they gotta complete this package. So uh, let's see what they do. All right, so friends, homies, are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Three, two, one, start designing. Why am I in another round? I don't like this. I want to think hard about this before I commit myself to something. An alert animation. I could like use the energy ball, spin it, pop the bolt out and go like this is Pikachu. I'm trying to think what the f I'm going to do. Um, Let's make an alert. Pikachu, PNG. I want to find another one where he stands to the front. I think I'm going to go for this one actually. I'm thinking that we're going to use this same 3D logo we spent so much time on on the other one. Make an alert out of it. Let's do the transition first i think the transition is going to be easy it's going to be nice and quick i can make this like super quick and then just zoom out you forgetting what the pokemon actually looks like because i don't have time to think well guys this is uh it's intense i need to make it more dynamic i need to have something else in here i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this already 15 minutes went by 45 minutes remaining and we'll see what happens it pulls out winks goes through pulls out winks goes through okay i don't even know if this is what i want and i still need to actually do something else to do another element of this and i'm not gonna have a lot of time to figure out which one i want to do i am scared this is too it's too simple it's too much already in line with what i had okay so i'm thinking after this we're gonna do a transition that's gonna match the first scene some lightning in there maybe a lightning pattern could be really 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 good for it i feel like i did pretty well last round but this round is not going so well to be fair oh wait actually i can use this i can use this i feel like that's good i feel i feel like uh i feel like that's great voila let's go let's go let's go oh actually i guess kind of got an idea um yeah something like this i should probably should not be redoing this much this late so all i'm gonna do is it comes down it goes Z -Z -Z pikachu and then as as it's doing this it's gonna extend bars on the side there is 30 minutes left in this challenge they're looking pretty good can this please pre-render I'm, I'm in a rush here come on Ray. okay i really need to go to the transition soon because i feel like this took way too much of my time 28 minutes left and i still need to create another element okay we got the last 20 minutes to make like a basic alert and i feel like i, I need to change it up a bit i can't just take the same animation and uh, like just copy it do i try an animated webcam overlay i'm not using a lot of the original like pokemon thing which i loved about the first i like the intro that's actually one thing i did like and i'm not using it here at all let's make an alert if i don't finish i'm probably gonna lose so i need to make an alert okay it moves a little bit too quick this needs to be like frame perfect unfortunately as the logo gets transparent then we zoom into that logo how does that sound i think that sounds good i think i think i'm on the right track here guys 15 minutes remaining oh dude i want to do 3d stuff but i don't have time for that i also feel like i gotta be more creative than this because like this is just the same as we saw before right i'm kind of thinking if i should change something i'm running out of time but that's okay it looks like a pile of shit. that no <laughs> oh that does not look good i don't want to spam it with like random rtfx effects but i feel like that's the only way to like make it look somewhat good or the pattern here what if i added that to the transition like just subtle in the background i feel like i need to actually do something with the frame as well i feel like actually this has potential i don't know why i i, I need to refine everything in these last 10 minutes if we can make something with this bar here i'm so stressed dude why am i so stressed he's not png no no, these are not PNG. My first idea was to add like a Pokeball flying up where it like jumped open and sort of, oh, actually, you can still do that. I don't know, I have so many comps right now, I, I can't even keep track of it anymore. That feels like it's a lot of negative space there. Five minutes remaining, let's go! Five minutes, fun, very fun. Okay, got five minutes left, I have to get this render out. I'm rendering two different things at the same time, my PC might explode. Uh, you know, it's not the best, but it is what it is. I, I, I actually like this. I am so stressed because I have to bring my uh, renders into a video editor so that I can add my Pikachu.
We are just not much I can do now. We did what we could. I think we're done. I actually kind of like this. I'm so happy. And just like that, time is up. We're back with round two. We're doing elevator pitches again, and we're going to start off with Ambi. Yeah, I try to keep going with the kind of old school game theme. Make it kind of look like one of those Pokemon battle cards, making the health bar kind of like a timer. Kind of the same thing for the webcam as well. NTH, what about you? Pikachu. For the alert, I wanted to go through with that Pikachu Thunderbolt sound. Then with the transition, I try to make it as fast as possible. Roth, you're up next. So uh, I tried to keep the same style by using the same light bolts as I used before and adding a pattern creates some diversity. For the alert, I used the same 3D logo to uh, reveal the text to keep the same style. Last one up is VO. I did the b right back screen, kept the same elements, just different layouts, barely any time left. So I did some simple alerts with the Pokeball that I used for the social media review in the first screen. Realistically, you guys did not make this uh, any easier than I, it should have ever been in the first place. With this information, me and George are going to go ahead and uh, just, just figure out who's going to be moving on. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in a second. I'm scared. I'm sad. I'm nervous. But what do you think? Ambi, I think did another great job making thoughtful considerations with like the health bar and the UI for the game. I wish there was a world where we had a little bit of something Bulbasaur related besides color scheme, like even like having a leaf kind of floating around. NTH's concept, what are we feeling over here? The 3D is obviously it was really cool in the first graphic. I think in this one, it still looks cool with the alert. I'm a little bit concerned that the transition maybe felt like an afterthought the strength of the transition as a package it's okay it's not a bad idea. it's a great solve for like the the time framing and also like the fact that it also does work like what else could you do i'm not i'm not opposed to what he did at all but what do you think about roth's concept he started out with a pretty minimal design so i think he carried that through pretty well in the later iterations of his deliverables the transition i think is very thoughtful i'm a little bit concerned that it's maybe lacking in personality a little bit more than the other Others. So like, there is some minimal detail in there that it's almost if you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, you miss it kind of scenario. I'm not at all disappointed in what Roth did either. Like it's it's this it's just gonna be a uh, awful scenario. But Vo, what are we thinking on his concept? I think Vo is probably the closest to being like a full design system. I really appreciate that for the be right back and the starting soon. They're completely different layouts. Would Vo's concept to you feel Pikachu if Pikachu wasn't there? Let's just start with that for a second. I, I think so, because there's the Pokeball, there's the lightning icon, iconography in the background. Regardless of whether Pikachu is there or not, there's enough relationship to Pokemon and there's definitely a relationship to electricity. NTH's initial 3D animation was very solid, but it feels like the rest of the deliverables are kind of thought about afterwards. Ross' concept with the transition is basically the idea of utilizing his first framing from his original concept do you think it was switched enough? That's what I'm struggling with is that it's undoubtedly very, very strong. I think that Roth's solution is probably the safest out of the four. So that becomes a question is like, is the safe option enough? And then for Ambies, do you feel as if he relied too much on the Pokemon UI over Bulbasaur? I think he knew that was the direction he wanted to go in because it was already present in the first screen is that it was going to have game ui elements i think he expanded on that which to me i i think saves it so i mean with the information that we just talked about the two people moving on will probably have to be this is it moving into the finals so we're looking at creativity we're looking about how you can carry over assets from a previous design and turn it into a whole theme or narrative our first person moving forward is Ambi. Attention to detail, very, very solid uh, all across the board. I think your solutions were creative. Piggybacking off of that, also congrats, Ambi. Very freaking amazing job. Oh, uh, with that being said, though, there's obviously one person you can move on with Ambi. The person moving on is VO. You kind of have this overall expiration and almost like an environment that you kind of get captivated by vo and ambi you guys will be competing against each other in the finals that also basically means you guys are gonna be both moving on no matter what into the champion series but how are you guys feeling i don't even know <laughs> 
Our brief for today is Oreo X NBA. So NBA and Oreo are collaborating to host the best dunk contest at the 2023 NBA Finals in Los Angeles, California. The commissioner is asking for a short trailer, roughly five seconds, that highlights the dunk concept while creatively incorporating the Oreo brand. You'll have an hour and 30 minutes to design and animate your piece. All right, guys, Ambi, VO, how are we feeling with the brief? It's just like that? It's like that? Are we actually that nervous? Yes, I'm stressing. That just makes this way more fun for us. <laughs> so don't forget, you guys are competing to be a motion real champion, and you guys are also competing for that beautiful, what is it, the Asus Pro Art widescreen monitor. That is a beautiful looking thing. And anyways, I'll let you guys get started, all right? So three, two, one, start designing. One hour, 30 minutes on the clock. Let's get it. First thing we're gonna do, clear your fucking cache because we need to speed up those uh, RAM previews. I have zero idea what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna make it too flat, but I feel like I kinda have to. So my idea was to have a basketball court, have uh, basketball go through the hoop, and then we use the hoop as a cut transition into like an Oreo dipping into a milk glass. I just wanna make like a basketball pattern. Not sure if it's going to work. It doesn't really work. I might have to do this anyway. I can't spend too much time on this. Drag the basketball texture into here and go to CC Sphere. That way we can make a basketball. For now, I'll just try to draw a line like this. What's a basketball look like? There's always one like that. I have a small ID. I'm hoping that I can make this like repeat itself. What does a basketball look? I mean, that kind of works, but not really. I feel like it's too much of a hassle to use, make an actual 3D ball. Or shoot, do we get a 3D basketball? And then we can just like flatten render it. So this is how it's gonna transition in. I'm gonna make this look a bit better. I'm gonna make it bounce up. Oh, actually it bounces and it turns into a or okay you know what you know what scrap this scrap this we'll do it differently from now it's gonna be in the crypto.com arena that's that's what worked i'm not sure why this looks so wonky i'm just gonna try and do minimal movement to the actual rotation of this already in the first 15 minutes you have some pretty clear like uh stylistic choices i'm really excited the motion already is just like looking pretty clean how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? I'm, I need to optimize it because otherwise my project is gonna get slow. 15 minutes went by and I haven't really done anything. First I wanna have a shot of the arena itself and then I wanna do something with the court. No, it's not the worst actually. So I want this to turn into a uh, Oreo. I'm gonna try and make 3D Oreo. We can add the similar particles that we did in a Pikachu thing and we can like Mark them off as stars. Hey, oh, is he gonna crash? Oh god, I should probably save it. So gonna waste way too much time on this part, but I feel like I just I just need to get it right. That could work. I can probably add some textures to it. Honestly, I might just leave it like that. I don't have time to be too picky with how it looks. Okay, let's make the glass. Something like that should do the job. I don't know which color to make the glass, to be fair. Right here, I wanted to start flipping over and revealing the... Oreo. I'm hoping I have some time over later to actually make something with the background because that's where I struggle a lot. I never know what to do with the background. It is indeed spinny milk. I regret most of the things I did. It's a really f***ing ugly glass but I, I genuinely don't know how to make it differently. MB is probably gonna f***ing crush this shit. Like absolute crush it. Goes like this. Boom. Hmm, this is just wasting time at this point. We're gonna make the court now. We'll make a basketball hoop. It's not gonna be nice, but it's gotta, be, gotta look like something. Like, I sorta know how this works, but like, not really. That could work actually a bit better, I think. So it that goes... I'm not sure how it's gonna transition in actually, but that's another problem. I'm wasting way too much time. I think I overestimated how quickly I would be able to do this. How the f*** do I make a milk glass? Well, it's not good, but it's good enough. Nope, 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 nope. Man, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I right, gotta scrap this. Oh no, oh no, I'm no. All right, it's time for midway check-ins. Let's start off with Ambi. And the only idea I had was to transform all the basketball into an Oreo. I wanted obviously dunking in milk, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about that. Personally, I think the concept is fine. I wouldn't stress too much about like the idea of the basketball turning into the Oreo. I think the way you've executed on it is Perfect. I would focus more on making this feel like 
a promotional piece so maybe having some typography yeah just start playing with some typography get it get the information in there first use that as your starting point i think that'll that'll be a lot easier all right next up is vo let's see where he's at so my idea is that i want to have like i first i wanted this outside shot of the court or like the crypto arena then it like transitions into a court and i want to have like a frame by frame basketball that like hoops through the thing and then as soon as it hoops it like there's like a cut transition into an Oreo dipping into the glass. I would speed run this. Don't focus too much on the details. I spoke about this with Ambi too, but make sure you get some typography in there. I feel like you're doing great. So I'm, I'm enjoying this. So hopefully uh, you, you find your groove in the, in, the, in the last 45 minutes, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's just, that's all I got for you, man. Enjoy it. Good luck. My biggest problem is getting to five seconds. What am I doing? Uh, I am stressing. I need to add text and stuff. Uh, we need to make the net real quick. Uh, it's way too big, but I mean, for this, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I have a cool idea, actually. Or it's just a basketball hoop. And then as soon as it touches the net or the ring of it, it turns into milk. Let's try to finish this up at least. I, I know I at least have something. I was so stressed out, but I think we actually might be somewhat fine this might be my doom i'm gonna try to make a 3d basketball hoop that's somehow gonna transform into the actual um, like milk glass and yeah, we need to add a shadow i don't know it's not like it doesn't it shouldn't look real but at least to like imply the fact that it's bouncing onto the court i am struggling here I don't think this idea is gonna work. 27 minutes left. 27 minutes left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I need to do something for the background, but I have no idea. And I know I needed that text as well. I would have loved something a bit more bolder. I, I'm actually getting stressed because I don't know. I want to make it quick, but I don't know how to make it quick. Yeah, this is not how I would normally do this, but and I don't really have time to do this normally. I do also realize that it's a spelling error. <laughs> Animated position. Okay, that's perfect. Add some milk drips. We're coming down to the end. 10 minutes left. I should know I should probably focus on making it longer, but I don't have time. Let's download the font real quick. Free download, free download, download, download. Where the f is the download? I do think the text did add a lot. What more can I do? What more can I do? Actually, is my I think it's gonna be annoying in the last five minutes. I'm getting so stressed just because this last part won't work with me here. I'm not sure what I can do in five minutes, that's the thing. Like, I'm just literally looking at it on repeat now. I'm not sure what to even do. If we can get the Oreo logo real quick, and then maybe we can set this to luminosity. One minute left! All of this is really unnecessary and is not needed at all. Oh no, I'm actually f***ing up last second. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. All oh, right, I was gonna do something with the actual milk. This is how it has to go. Oh no, I'm already mo noticing mistakes. <laughs> and just like that, time is up. Now we're moving into pitches. So we want you guys to talk about your process, your details, anything that we might have missed. And we're going to start off with VL. So first I have a shot of the Crypto.com arena. I thought it was really important to actually hint it was there. Then I have like a 3D basketball court where we have like uh, the dolly zoom effect sort of. Then there's like a quick cut into the Oreo falling into the milk glass. Some basic information about where the event is and that's pretty much it. Okay, Ambi, what about you? I knew instantly that I wanted to have it obviously dunk an Oreo in milk. That's kind of obvious and make it kind of like morph from a basketball into an Oreo. I originally wanted to make more of a grunge look, but instead made, made just a basic flat 2D, some 3D instead, I guess. You guys out here modeling scenes being modest, really cringe, by the way. Uh, but great for you. <laughs> I mean, I love it. But also you guys are cracking, you guys should know that. But with that being said, I'm gonna have myself and George hop in and just chat about who we're gonna crown motion around champion all right george so this is gonna be a tough one and if we learn anything from our mistakes or whatever they call mistakes our decisions from last time uh we might get fried for this so what are what are we thinking when we look at vo's concept vo had a very nice set of scenes i think the first one with the stadium is a cool idea it might be a little bit too flat for my personal taste but i definitely think he picked up the pace for the second and third scenes typography looks great feels bold 
and I like the inclusion of the Oreo logo on the glass. He gave us location, collaboration, and detail. He kind of ran with that scene being like, so that each spoke to its own purpose, which I really appreciate. I think the dolly sort of like motion uh, zoom in effect felt very appropriate. It just felt like really cool. I think the Oreo X NBA kind of like template area here, or like this, this frame itself is a little bit sort of like, I guess it's okay, but the word I want to say is like, I feel as it, it could be a lot more colorful and more thoughtful to what uh, either or brand. I feel like if it leaned more toward the Oreo branding being a little more, you know, uh, a bluish tone, I feel like the colors themselves, if they were just dialed up in saturation, it might be a lot stronger for me personally. It might also help combat your 2D flatness uh, as well. However, what do we think about Ambi's concept? I mean, obviously they had similar ideas with the glass and having the Oreo kind of like dunk into it. I think I really enjoyed Ambi's concept with having the splash fill up the screen and then have that lead into the logos. And I think that the animation overall is very solid. The transition between the ball and the Oreo itself is, is really, really appealing. I mean, I really do enjoy the actual tone of which Ambi took when, it's, when it comes like that very added detail to the actual 3D elements of it, like fully modeling this basketball itself into the Oreo itself is a really cool thing. I think the splash as well is a very easy, I would not say easy solve, but a very uh, smart solve to make that, that impact that we're, I think we would look for as well. Do you believe that the story is, is portrayed well through Ambies as well, or, or, or even stronger than VOs? VOs tells a little bit more of a story related to the stadium. And I think Ambies as a concept is, is very cool having the basketball transition into the, the Oreo in 3D. It's a little bit tough because they have similar concepts, but I think it's very clear that one tells a little bit more than the other. I think we may be on the same page there. And I, I believe the person you're probably leaning toward is like, all right, guys, this one, if you couldn't tell by the long waiting period, was very, very difficult. Essentially, you guys decided to go with very similar concepts, right? So it really ended up coming down to a lot of details, a lot of pros and cons, and ultimately who was able to do more uh, with what they were given and the amount of time, who was able to make the best considerations for the brief. With that being said, the person who's going to be crowned the Motion Design Royale Champion, who will also be receiving a brand new ASUS ProArt monitor with three months of creative cloud, thanks to Envato, appreciate y'all, is going to be VL. So let's go. Let's nice. talk about it. Both of you guys had strengths and weaknesses. We argued that Ambies had a stronger sense of color and that was able to give it more energy for VOs with the basketball court and showcasing the stadium were, was a nice attention to detail to the information for the brief. It was very, very narrow but we slightly leaned more towards VL. I'm uh, really happy I won, and I'm just really happy I, I even got the honor to uh, to join. I think uh, most of the guys that uh, joined this would have like joined too without the prize. We just do it for fun and the honor. So we really appreciate uh, Seso hosting this. It was my pleasure to watch you work, and it's my pleasure to give you this prize presented by Envato Elements, but also in the sense, crown you VO in the sense uh, motion Royale champion with that being said though and at the end of the day you guys are both be coming back for championship series and it's going to be even hopefully even closer and better and more fun and you guys will have even more fun but ambi i'll let you get a second what do you what do you what are you thinking right now i know second place is not the best in your eyes but you want first in the entire world but what do you think hey right, i'm surprised i'm even here okay <laughs> oh come on shut up oh, shut up no 100 percent, 100 percent. i thought i was going out dude. first round but shut i up. do think that it's very well deserved of both of him or VO. I honestly thought he would win from the start. I knew he would be a very big competitor. <laughs> put some put some respect in your own name, bro. You were doing phenomenal throughout the entire series as well. With that being said, of course, thank you so very much to Envato Elements. Uh, thank you so very much to freaking George Noack for the co-host per usual. That is the end of the video here today. If you guys want to join, <laughs> Adobe is always, always going to talk to him. If you guys want to join uh, and, and watch some more design around stuff, we have graphic design, we have not only motion design, but also logo design stuff. So we'll see you guys soon. So that's HQ out. Gotta get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay a freaking productive guys. Later, much love, peace, and uh, congrats, Vio. You freaking deserve it. Thank you very much.